Hey everybody, uh, Temple Lingma here, and um, today I'm going to be talking about some Halo 5 stuff in a little bit more of a laid back style video. Um, I originally was just going to talk about what I'm going to talk about last, and we'll get there when we get there. But I figured since some other news has come out, I might as well talk about my reactions to some of the controversies surrounding Halo 5 at the moment. So let's start with the simple thing. Um, Warzone will not be forgeable. Um, Alright, I, I can see why it's kind of a bummer for some people. Um, personally, I don't see, like, I wouldn't do too much forging in it. Um, I see a lot of people not doing a lot of forging. Like, I see people trying it, and then finding out they'd be too complex, and then you get a lot of bullshit maps, which you already get with forging, but especially with Warzone. Um, but not only that, it's a really complex game mode, and um, I think that trying to forge it might be a little overcomplicated right now. It could be something that they maybe add at some point, um, but it's not really that big of a deal to me, and I feel like it'd be an option that not so many people used anyway. Um, besides, they're going to be adding more Warzone maps and stuff in the future anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um, Halo 5 will not have split screen or local co-op play. I'm... Alright. I, too, have memories of playing Halo with my brother. Going through all the games, playing co-op and campaign, and then you beat the campaign, and then you never touch split screen again. So... I mean, yes, I, I will miss split screen and playing with my brother and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, you don't use split screen as much as you do, not as a community as a whole anyway. Um, I know there are some people who exclusively play split screen, but for the most part, people really don't. Um, not a lot of people do, and what they're trying to do is focus on higher graphics and higher frame rates. If they were to say, oh, we're going to drop the frame rate so you can play split screen, everyone would have a hissy fit that <clears throat> we want 60 frames a second and 1080p and you're not giving that to us. Why, 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 why? It is what it is. It really doesn't matter to me all that much. Um, I mean, it'll be a bummer a little bit, but not that big a deal. Maybe they'll figure out how to make it work for Halo 6. Maybe not. Oh, well. You know, you're, people are making a bigger deal out of this than it really needs to be. And now for the final thing. Um, I wasn't able to download pictures of these. Um, and I don't know why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description to a tweet that has uh, these pictures linked in it. And that is the announcement of uh, requisition packs and... Uh, variant weapons. So, first off, requisition packs are going to be similar to battle packs and then advanced supply drops and all that stuff. Where you play the game, you get a pack, you open the pack, you get something that's in the game, unlocked, that you can use. Um, I think it's going to be different than supply drops from Call of Duty, uh, where or supply drops are more like prize containers where you can win anything i feel like requisition packs are going to be more like one random unlock so you can't unlock stuff you've already unlocked could be wrong we'll have to wait and see you can unlock things like armor weapon skins uh weapon or, um sorry assassination animations and weapon variants uh which take all the weapons in the game and modify them slightly um only cosmetic things will be available in arena game mode, so no weapon variants, but weapon skins, assassination animations, armor. Stuff that doesn't actually change the game mode. Like, if you're already going to get an assassination, it doesn't really matter what animation you use. The guy's going to die anyway. Um, same thing with weapon skins. So your gun looks different. It's not more powerful. 
Uh, so far, we have a few announced weapon variants. Um, we have... What's this called? The Sentinel Battle Rifle with Laser Sight. And equipped with the Bloodthirst Battle Rifle Weapon Skin. Uh, this is the GameStop pre-order bonus. Um, and what's actually cool is all the pre-order bonuses are actually in the game. So if you don't pre-order from GameStop, if you digitally download or whatever, you won't get the Battle Rifle at launch. However, you will still be able to unlock it through requisition packs. The only difference is, like, I pre-ordered from GameStop. I'm going to be able to use this battle rifle when the game launches. All the other pre-order bonuses that I won't pre-order from, like Best Buy, Amazon, etc., I can still get. I just don't get them right away. Um, so this comes with a laser sight. Um, my guess is it tightens the spread when not smart scoping. Um, even though smart scoping really doesn't make the gun more accurate, um, it just kind of changes the view. That's, that's my thought. Um, there's no official synopsis on what these do. Uh, this is just my guess. Next, we have the Projection SMG with Long Barrel, uh, which is the Potence SMG Weapon Skin. I believe this is the Best Buy pre-order bonus. It might be the Amazon pre-order bonus, um... But it's an SMG. It's got like a whitish-orange skin. Um, oh, the battle rifle is white, orange, and black, by the way. Um, and has a long barrel, so my guess is better range. These will only be available to use in Warzone. And I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the DMR. Uh, Recon DMR with silencer. Uh, Clash DMR weapon skin. Which is also um, white, orange, and black. Uh, silencer probably means when you shoot, you don't show up on the motion tracker. Um, because the way the motion tracker works, if you move or if you shoot, you appear on it. And we have a recon assault rifle with energy bayonet. And it has the Lagrange, or Lagrange uh, assault rifle weapon skin. This is a white, red, and black skin, and it has laser bayonet, as well as I. it looks like a dot sight on top. So the laser bayonet, I'm pretty sure, will have more powerful melee, as well as a special melee animation. Because uh, usually melees are kills, but not always. So my guess is that this will turn melee into a one-hit kill. And it looks like you might be able to smart scope, or smart link, whatever you want to call it, uh, down the uh, sight instead of kind of zooming in on the side reticle. Um, there's also a unknown uh rifle this is just a picture it doesn't have a description or anything with it um it's a yellow white and black skin with a scope or a flashlight on it um it looks like a scope although it could possibly be a flashlight it's hard to tell from this angle um if it's a flashlight maybe kind of like battlefield it can blind your enemies uh if you smart link or something and if it's a scope obviously it's a scope so like I said these will only be available in Warzone um, and people are kind of complaining about this but Warzone is such a chaotic game mode um, you've got player versus players 24 players on the field a huge map an almost unlimited number of vehicles as long as you have the points to get them AI enemies constantly going all over the place is a battle rifle that's slightly more accurate or has a slightly tighter spread or an assault rifle that has a laser bayonet on it is that really going to change the entire tide of battle when everything's going on is a laser bayonet really going to stand up against a mantis that someone acquired or the VTOL that someone acquired or an AI banshee that's just going to bomb you in the face anyway <clears throat> Plus, I'm not 100% sure how this works, but these uh, weapon variants, I don't know if you fully unlock them. Uh, they might be like a burn card type thing, where you can unlock the burn card, you use it, and then when you die, the weapon's gone. So, you have to re-unlock it. It could also be one that you unlock for loadouts. I don't know, they haven't really talked about how that's all going to work yet. Um, but we don't really know how it's all gonna work and it's so 
There's so many variables to change the tide of battle. I really don't think a gun is gonna sway things all too much in one person's favor. I mean, you could argue, oh, it's gonna help me play better, so we're gonna do better. Yeah, but come on. I would totally understand if you could get like that long barrel SMG and breakout or something, because that would be totally unfair. Or if you could get the laser uh, bayonet battle or um, assault rifle in like 4v4 arena game mode or anything like that. I totally get that, but they're not doing that. It's not allowed to happen. Um, it's only in Warzone and, I don't know, maybe other game modes if they announce certain special game modes, um, you know, where, similar to Warzone if there's something special, but I don't think there will be. So as far as we know right now, only in Warzone, which is so big, so crazy, and so random that really, really, one little battle rifle is not going to change everything. Well, that's been my thoughts on the matter. Um, maybe if more news comes up, I'll do another video at some point. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you all next time. Later, guys.